Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, I gave you the overview of our project and in today's video, we will create a new Spring Boot application. So let's get started. And as you can see, I am on the website of Spring Boot and on the scroll, we can get a link for quick start guide. So let's click on this. And on this page, as you can see, they gave a link to create a new web project. So let's click on this link, which is start.spring.io. And here we need to put the details of our project. And for the build tool, we will select it as Maven. And for the language, we will use the same Java. And for the Spring Boot version, we will keep 3.2.1 because this is the latest stable version. And for the group, we will put it as code with projects. And after this, for the name, we will set it as employee dash server. And for the packaging, we will keep the jar as selected. And for the Java version, we will use Java 17. And with this, our project metadata is done. Now we need to click on this button to add the required dependencies. And the first dependency we want is the Spring Web because we want to build REST APIs and we can get Apache Tomcat as default embedded container. So let's click on this. And after this, we will add Spring JPA for our repository layer. And after this, we want to connect our project with MySQL DB. So for that, we need the dependency of MySQL driver. And after this, the last dependency we want is the Lambwork to reduce the boilerplate code. And I forgot to update the artifact. So let's copy the employee and let's paste it here. And after this, we can click on this generate button to generate the project. And as you can see, our project got downloaded. Now let's open the location. And as you can see, I pasted the zip file in one folder. Now let's right click on this zip file and let's extract the files here. And now we need to open this extracted folder in the IntelliJ. And as you can see, I imported the project in the IntelliJ. Now let's wait for the sync to complete. And as you can see, our project sync is done and you can see the basic structure of Spring Boot application. Now let's open our POM file and you can see all the dependencies here, which we just added. Now let's open our source file and in the source file, we can open our main file and in the Java package, we have our main class employee application. Now we can open our resources package and you can see one application dot properties file. And in this file, we will write the configurations like database configuration. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we will create new react application.